we need to talk about this. Oil in the turbo, oil under the resonator, oil in the intake, oil dripping onto the alternator, oil in the intercooler, oil, 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 oil. You get the idea. Nearly all mechanics just don't get this right. And it's costing Sprinter owners thousands of dollars. But what's really going on? Where's all this oil really coming from? Well, whether it be a mechanic with 30 plus years of experience, or even sometimes the dealerships, they'll see oil in your turbo and they'll say, that's a leaky turbo. That'll be five grand to fix. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is simply not the case. So the next time that you see oil in your turbo or at the top of your engine, just know that it can be fixed with one simple little piece. But before I show you the best fix, we need to break down what's really going on. I'll be using the older spinner engine just because it's so much easier to see what's going on, but I'll also show you what it looks like on the new one as well. As your engine runs, a small amount of exhaust escapes past the piston rings and it ends up building up in your main engine block. Well, this is nothing new. It happens to all vehicles, whether they're diesel or not. The way most manufacturers deal with this is they have this little hose right here and this allows those fumes that escape past the piston seals to essentially relieve the pressure from the main engine block. So nothing new about this. It's, um, you know, it, it happens in every vehicle, old or new to some extent. So this is the solution Mercedes came up with. They just decided, hey, we're going to take those fumes that build up in the block and we're going to put them right back in to the intake. Now, this works perfectly fine if you're just cruising along the freeway 60, 70 miles an hour. That solution is going to work great. Now, the problem comes in is when you're putting your engine under a very heavy load and the turbocharger right here is spooling up, creating a vacuum, all right? So when that turbocharger spools, unfortunately, that extra pull not only pulls the fumes out of the engine block, but it pulls the oil out of there as well. And this is where the real problem comes in. So when your turbo spools real hard, when your van's under heavy load, this hose right here is going to suck oil out of your engine like a straw. And once that oil comes out of your engine, it's going to pull through the turbo and it's going to get spit out all over the place. You see some right here. It's going to look like your engine is hemorrhaging oil. But what's really happening, it's all coming from this hose. Now, to be fair, Mercedes knew this would happen. And that's why they have this small little valve right here. This small little round valve it has a rubber diaphragm inside, which is vacuum actuated. So when the turbo spools hard, this valve closes and doesn't allow any air or oil to be sucked through while the turbo spooling hard. So that's what it's supposed to do. Unfortunately, the rubber in this thing gets brittle about every every 50 to 100,000 miles or every five years or so, which causes it not to work so well. So we still end up with oil getting sucked out of the engine like a straw when this turbo is spooling. Real quick, let's show you what this looks like on a 3.0 liter Sprinter. So this is the newer engine, it's tougher to see. This is the round little valve I was showing you in the other scene. And it has the same issue. It sits on top of the engine, it gets really hot, the rubber gets brittle and it stops working. So what's the solution? Well, you can replace this thing. Anyone can replace this thing as long as they know how to turn a wrench. Might cost one or 200 bucks, depending on if you want to go original or aftermarket, but this isn't the most permanent solution because this thing stops working about every 100,000 miles. So me personally, I just like to get rid of the damn thing. Let me show you what that looks like. For just 17 bucks, you can get this kit right here. You essentially um, allowing the engine block to breathe naturally. So the fumes will just escape through this filter. So engine breathes naturally, intake is plugged off, and your engine runs much cleaner. This is how it looks installed. Notice here, this is how it used to be. This circular thing right here is the uh, valve, and the hose ran from the valve straight back into the intake. All we did was cut this hose right here. We allowed the engine's blow-by fumes to breathe out naturally. Intake side, we used the little plug, and voila, we're all set. Your engine room's running better, and there's no longer any um, there's no longer any oil getting pulled up out of your engine. I'll leave a link down below for this product. It's something I use quite often. Now, this isn't the only way your turbo gets misdiagnosed. So, if you're looking for um, if you're looking for other ways mechanics usually misdiagnose your turbo, I have a whole video on that here.
If you're looking for a way to save thousands of dollars on sprinter repairs, well, 